Hope you're all having a great day. So the space in Photoshop that you work on is called your canvas. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to increase your canvas size. There's various reasons why you would wanna do that from time to time, whether you're just creating a new size for a document or if you have things off your artboard that you wanna bring onto your, your artboard or your canvas area and you have gotta expand it in a certain way. So let's hop into Photoshop and get, I'll, I'll show you how to do it. <laughs> All right, so we're in Photoshop, and uh, we're just gonna go up to image, down to canvas size. So there is image size here, that's just gonna change, that's gonna basically scale everything up. Canvas size is just going to affect the space in which we view all of our layers, objects, elements, type, everything like that. That image size isn't, it, you know, it's gonna scale things up with it. The canvas size is just gonna scale that space, not scale any of the elements. What we can do here, we have a couple options. So as long as relative is unchecked, you're going to see the size of your canvas right here. It's 1920 by 1080 pixels. You can change your units on the side here. You can then change the size. So let's say I wanted this to be a square that's 2000 by 2000. If we do relative, that means let's add a certain amount and generally the default is zero, zero. That means we're gonna add to our canvas size so maybe if I put 80 in here it's gonna do 1920 plus 80 right but if I don't have relative check it's just gonna change it literally to what this size is that I that I want so that's kind of how that works the anchor point from time to time you want to use it for the most part you just keep it in the center but essentially if you want to change your anchor point and change how this canvas is going to resize you might put the anchor point up here and it resizes it only this way. Or if the anchor point's in the center, it'll resize it just from every corner equally, right? And same thing goes for, for any different spot. It might just resize up or out or sideways or, or whatever. That's what the anchor point is for. Um, rarely use it, but sometimes I do. The last thing is canvas extension color. So you could do, basically it's gonna reveal background area and you can, you know, you can decide what color that background area is going to be. For instance, I have foreground, so my foreground color selected. Right now my foreground color is orange, so it's really gonna show you extending the canvas on this. All right, all this crazy talk, just to basically make my canvas a new size, 2000 by 2000 pixels, hit okay, and we're gonna have a square. I'm gonna zoom out with Command or Control uh, minus. And here we are, we have a new canvas size. You see it filled in that space with my foreground color that I had selected. So you can see where the new canvas space is. So it's not confusing. I'm gonna go ahead and fill this all with white, just like that. That was Shift F5 to uh, fill. I think it's like the, it's just fill, I think is, is the tool. And it's gonna fill in that area with white. So now my new canvas size is 2000 by 2000. As easy as going back to canvas size and saying, oh no, actually I wanted this to be 1000 wide by 2000. I needed more like a vertical page. And if you do do that to where it clips part of your canvas, it's gonna come up and tell you your new canvas size is smaller, some clipping might occur, which means some of your elements might be hidden, which as long as you know that you're doing that, it's fine that that pops up. So you can proceed and now I have more of a vertical canvas. That's how to increase, decrease, change the canvas size. I realize that's a super simple tutorial, but I wanted to explain that in a little bit more depth because most people that are watching this, you guys are probably, you probably beginners. Um, and speaking of beginners, I do have a beginner's Photoshop course, completely free on Skillshare. All you gotta do is sign up with your email and you don't have to actually sign up for Skillshare Premium or anything. The link for that is in the description of this video. Um, it goes through a lot of a lot of different things if you're a beginner in Photoshop. Uh, everything else being said, thanks for watching you guys. Appreciate you stopping by. Subscribe for more tips and tutorials. My name's Spencer, this is Pixel and Bracket, and I'll see you guys next time. And if it's 4th of July and you're watching this today, because it's 4th of July for us, hope you have a happy, safe 4th of July. We got some family, my side of the family is coming over today, and uh, it should be a lot of fun. It's really hot out. It's like 80 degrees right now, and it's only, it's not even 12, it's not even noon yet. So, it's gonna be a scorcher.